get this club from nothing. And I loves it. Welcome to episode 14 of In the Dugout. Uh, today we are joined by uh, the governor of Bonham uh Tony Clement. Tony, how are you doing, buddy? I'm very good, Stuart. Thank you, boy, for having me on. God, I'm mighty, so I think it's been great, boy. Absolutely superb. And other, other, other people I spoke to as well up in England and Australia, they think it's great as well, to be honest with them. So, great, mate. That's what it's all about. It's all about. I'm really, mate, really keen to have you on board and... You've been mentioning pretty much every single dugout that's been done, Tone. So, uh, uh, well, I, yeah, well, I, I, hope it's, I hope it's been good. I'm not, yeah. uh, some people tell lies as well, anyway. <laughs> so. Yeah, you can put a few wrongs to right in here, but it's, uh, we got, you got the opportunity today. Uh, well, yes, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I, I'm quite looking forward to putting a few, f- tell the truth. Some people told a lot of lies. So, uh, <laughs> we go into it. Uh, uh, Tone, yeah. yeah, mate, look, um, absolute legend of Bonham Mine and... Um, Somebody who, you know, uh, this is going to be the last uh, in the dugout for, for a, a long period. So, someone who I wanted to finish on, if I'm honest, mate. So, um, I couldn't think of anyone better. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get stuck into it, Torn, if you don't mind. And right. um, we'll go with your, your first memory of one of mine, mate. I, first of all, i gotta, I, I got to put a bit of makeup on as well. The girls don't put a makeup because it was on, <laughs> on screen. So, I noticed, uh, I noticed Kevin Brooks had a bit of eye shadow on and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked his best, you know. And, uh, <laughs> Did you have uh, did you have one of the Sturgis boys on as well? Yeah, we had Neil on, yeah. God, was it Neil? God, God, I did he put on loads of weight, didn't he? God <laughs> almighty. I didn't recognise him, man. I, camera camera adds a few pounds, Don. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to ring him see if I can get a pair of old trousers off him because uh, <laughs> it fit me, you see. Oh god. <laughs> I noticed his hair as well, Stuart, because his hair yeah. I'm sure he had a bit of one of them pull overs. It's, it's uh, is it? Yeah, he's head didn't look like that, I'm sure. God, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Straight in, Tor. I love it. I love and it. Another one as well. He had that boy Brooks on as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on there. He was on there. Well, don't believe a word he says. He's a cop, and he can only work any of that. God, I'm like, yeah. I Did you know he was in Twin Town as well? Was he in there as well, was he? He was old and fatty. He was a lad, haven't he? <laughs> fatty broke his leg, didn't he? So that tells me it all, didn't he? You know? Compo, he was yeah, after the compo. Well, Kevin wanted a talking part, didn't he? You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excellent, uh, excellent. Uh, oh, Tom, brilliant, mate. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Well, I my memory, my first memory was obviously I was um, I gone back to the fifties, not mine. You know, so I, when I was a ball boy and whatever it was, then you know, yeah. And, uh, no clubhouse, then no top field, you know, and. Uh, but the, the level of that field is good out right down to the bottom of the, where the road is, you know. Okay. The entrance to the pitches was where the lay by is the bottom of, on yeah. the road. That yeah. was eight set went to the ground, you know. And uh, but the top field was just um, grazing for cattle, etc. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there was nothing at all, you know. Wow. The, te- the team then is to change um, in Bonamine Community Centre. Yeah. Down in Cavan Road, that's not there any longer as well, you know. And uh, and that was this run up then across the field then no, no houses I know Carnarvon May or Philly Avenue or Kevin Engard School yeah and, and across to the field then you know and uh, watch the game or, or had a game of rugby obviously with the kids on the back and be the ball yeah. the ball is be over the field half the time as well you know that was like, <laughs> yeah. first, first memories you know yeah <coughs> and uh, of course my my father involvement as well you know gun committee and stuff like that you know and. Uh, and of course, I don't know whether they realise that where where Kevin Engard School was was the Dillwyn Cricket Field. Right? No, I don't know. No. Well, where the Red Grass, that was I was a cricket pitch up there. So we, they played rugby obviously in in winter and played yeah. cricket there in the summer. You know. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Class. Kids on the Cavan Road, as you know, where uh, your mother, you got to take Cavan Road as well. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, they don't. Everybody know. watches cricket as well, you know. But that's uh, that's another story, you know. So I'll uh, see. I uh, I always wanted to play off the club because uh, my bra- my father played, my uncles played, loads of my uncles played as well. Yeah, you know? and, uh, yeah. And of course, my brothers then played before me, you know. And uh, that was um, the, f- the first 
memories of rugby, you know, I remember the older players playing as well, you know, like, yeah, you probably will remember them, you know, uh, George Llewellyn, Mark Llewellyn's father, yeah, George, yeah, 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 because I was a kid, wasn't he, you know, and uh, Marcel Thomas, you know, all, all great players, you know, and, uh, and, of course, you move on, and, you know, to uh, the 60s, you know, when his brother started playing, you know, and, uh, yeah. The, uh, the memory then of watching them in playing in the first youth cup final in 1963, playing yeah. um, Comturk up in Chabanos. God, the memory on Uton. They won the cup 3 0, great game. 3 0. 3 0, yeah, yeah. And uh, they beat, beat uh, Comturk in Chabanos, and um, but two brothers played, played, played in that game, you know. And yeah. that, was, that was a great memory as well. but we probably me and my mates didn't watch much of the game because we was always in the river looking for something else, you know, at the, at the side of the pitch, you know, <laughs> yeah. and you turned down in it, you know. Yeah, causing so, a bit of mischief, but yeah. So, and when I started then um, playing youth rugby then uh, in, I was still in school, still in Lance Army School, and um, played for the youth team, 15, 1966, Okay. And myself, uh, Colin Clutterback, you know, Colin, don't you? Colin, yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve Planchant, you know, we were all involved with them. We were, we were only kids, like, you know. Yeah. And George Poole was playing, you know, and because, I don't know, George, George, you'd go play it. You know. George, he was our hero, George, George Poole, because uh, we were down there as kids, you know, George is up there, you know. Yeah. Man, you know, George, you know. Giant, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, took taught us how to drink as well, George, you yeah. know. Yeah, did he, yeah, really, yeah. My mother should tell me, don't you drink that, George Poole? I tell you, no. <laughs> <laughs> Coming home, you're drunk. And, uh, <laughs> I, can, I can imagine his face so many years this, George. Yeah. Uh, George, a good player, George. And we went, we went, uh, we were a really young side, you know, and we um, um, got through the season, right? You know, I think, you know, I think we went about two games, something like that, you know. And uh, uh, Billy Caves was captain. Billy Caves was one of our players, actually, you know, he's probably the fastest guy I ever played with, Billy, actually. Right, you know, yeah. and uh, he was. Um, Played on the wing. We moved up the next year. Then was um, um, Peter Lowe's captain. I think. But the, I remember some of the players before we, we gave senior players. You, you don't see after youth rugby. And that still happens now as well. Yeah, you? you're right. Mate. Yeah, they, yeah. They youth rugby. And then yeah. and the circuit. You know, uh, Jeff Planchant was there, and John Ashford, and Jed Lee played as well. Rob Davis, and Pete, and you don't see him for years, then, You know, and yeah, since, yeah. And all great, good rugby players as well. You know. Yeah, and, uh, and they move on. They were playing, uh, playing in the set. My first game actually for for of mine in that in that youth side was in resolving. Okay. And I I played full back at fifteen, and uh, it was a bit uh, a bit frightening because uh, Neath teams are wild as well, weren't they? You know, I played full back. Everybody got to take your head off, didn't they? You know? So uh, <laughs> great fun. In my second game was great fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, I bet it wasn't it? You know, back then, and uh, you know, on a Monday, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, not it? And uh, we uh, moved on for that. The next year, then we got better. Peter, yeah. guy by the name of Peter Lowe was uh, captain, and um, he was um, married one of Kevin Brooks's aunties. Peter, good pro, good player, good uh, skillful player as well, you know. And uh, we got better that year. Played really, really good, you know. Yeah. And, because uh, we oh, move on, this is what happened, didn't we? You know, and we move up a bit then, you know. Other players then that came along, Clyde Barglow and John Russell and Paul Southgate, and and they move on as well, don't they? You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, we, we got better and better as a side, you know. And the following, following season, then, Di Davis was captain, and uh, we were a really soft side then. We were a really big side as well, actually. Yeah, good. yeah. Great backs, you know, with a few boys joining us from over in Neath, you know, which was uh, Neil Lucas and Steve Evans and uh, another guy then, our Francis prop, all big guys around, good players as well, you know, and, and of course they stayed with the club for a while actually, the, the Neath boys, and we still got Neath boys playing today, haven't we, as well, you know? Yeah, we can't, we can't get rid of them, Tom. You know, <coughs> and, and a really good player and good. Well, that year we went to, um, we played uh, we played Swansea Youth, which was always a good side, don't say Nellins. In the semi final of the cup, and we lost, and we never thought we we lost 9 3. Oh. You know, they were a good side, which is devastating, you know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, we, we got over that. And I think that was the only game we lost all season, actually. And um, of course, the most important game as well, isn't it? You know, oh, and, God, uh, yeah. the end of the end of the season was um, always a seven side tournament in Wynalloy. All right, big then, sevens, you know. 
one alloy sevens, and it's a, it's a top size plate in that as well. You know? And uh, and we're going down there as a youngster watching my brother playing. Well, I was playing his very involved, and if Phil Bennett was playing. Oh wow! That's the friend of us. As you laugh, the Welsh you say that, you know. Flipping it. You know what I mean? Bennett, yeah. Bennett had the ball then, and well, nobody could lay a hand in him today, you know. Yeah. Uh, so. it really good. Anyway, we we um we got um, we beat Vardy, I think, in uh, I can't remember when we played. We played. We got through to the final. And we were playing Swansea Youth again yeah. in the final. Yeah, nice. But we we trained like hell me for that. You know, playing rugby league and we trained hard for it. And, and uh, we beat them 9-3. Oh, nice, nice little turnaround. Uh, and uh, that was um, yeah. Blanchard played Scramaff, who had uh, was had a great game, Blanchard as well. You know, really, really clever player, Steve Blanchard. Yeah. And we went back to the club and they filled the cup up with Sherry. Oh, and I got to be honest. <laughs> and I've been so drunk in all my life. And ill. Oh That's my. saying something to that is. That's a big statement, though. No. All the boys are the same, you know. All, <laughs> all, all absolutely leathered. And uh, Colin Clutterbuck played, you know. Colin, Lee Lucas, Georgie, Steve yeah. Black, myself, Colin New, and Jeff John. We had we had a good side as well, you know. And yeah, yeah. One of the, the best times in youth rugby. Amazing, mate. And, Don't uh, the following year, then, we, uh, I was captain then. And we had a great side again, you know. And uh, talent, 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 loads of talent. She comes along, doesn't it? You know. Yeah, yeah. Ashley and stuff, you know what I mean. And Tudor came up to play as well. A lot of lots of first year, like Bernie Wakeman and John Stevens and uh, wow. um, people. Di Bailey's played, come up, you know what I mean. Noel, Noel Lewis, some don't see Thomas, and oh. you know, really good side, you know. And uh, we lost, <laughs> played Morrison at home in the semi final. We we we're the best side by a mile. We're yeah. Not, we lost it six three. Oh that's no! Disaster. But anyway, I, I just I think that's the only game we lost. At, at, yeah. At, you know, but that's the way it goes in it, you know. So uh, that was uh, that was hard hard to swallow, you know. And uh, it was um, it move on, and you know, coming up and uh, I saw my 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 first game I was seeing in the season. And sorry, in the first team was um, I was a silly youth. I played in. Um, Play up in Oakdale. Oh, was a place now. Some you dropped out, and I went. I cleaned in the centre with my uh, my brother, you know, with them. And oh. that was a bit of eye opener because you think you're the kid, you're the youth, but then when you get yeah. the big boys, they'll just smash you to death, you know. <laughs> yeah. You've know, you know, done it, you know. And uh, was this, oh, second game, man. My second game, I still in youth, was um, down in Mumbles. They picked me to play on the wing. <coughs> there was a partner, a guy who played for Swansea called um, Peter Hunt. Who was a great player, but he picked me, picked me to mark Peter Hunt because I was a big, yeah. you know, a bit robust to say, uh, you know what I mean. And, uh, and that was that was my second game, and you know, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, good fun, you know what I mean. And he was only he was still a little boy, a month's friend, when you, you know what I mean. You were a kid in youth, but yeah, uh, you know, when you when you get out there, mum was, was a good side as well, you know, really good side, you know, yeah, yeah. Can you, can you remember the like, um. That like that phone call that or or you know, the face to face conversation with the coach in lockdown. You're you're with us on uh, you're on with us on Saturday from yeah, from the first like perspective, in, uh, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, I've been I've been up there, but I've been set. I've been up the club and I wait to play. So you know, you've got to go. Up, you'll have to go up in the first team. So I thought, oh great. I thought, <laughs> oh god. The thing about that again, did you know? Yeah, yeah. I played my my two brothers are playing actually. Jeff was Jeff was uh, playing as well, you know. And uh, what position was uh, they on? Well, we, three of us are all backs. We yeah. played, actually played together, uh, all together as well. You know, when was out to the half, and me and Jeff in the centre, you know. Oh, it's and, outstanding. Uh, and uh, Jeff um, uh, put on a bit of beef, I think. You know, he, he moved to flank on yeah. the flank, and for me and Winder played together regular as well. You know, after that. Oh, you know? it's amazing. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, good times in it. You know what I mean? And uh, some, some. Um, Good players about then as well. It's like uh, I know you know Stuart Jenkins. Stuart's playing full back, good player, you know. And Alan John was on the wing, Bonzo, you know, and all really good club men as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Jared Lee was still playing. Jared was a good player as well, centre. Lovely guy. Lovely you know, guy. And, uh, uh, Howard Bryant, scrum half, good. I was a great player. Good, good scrum half, you know. Uh, yeah. Move forwards. Who oh, started? Maybe that forwards. I think oh I'll tell you that, that that game as well in in um, in um, Oakdale was um, somebody didn't turn up in 
the second row. So Billy Jenkins was coach, Bladder. Right. Yeah. And Bladder played. To put himself on, like. Bladder, Bladder played. And because um, there's no subs in them days, no so bladder play. <laughs> so I played with I played with the old man, and I played with the son as well. You know what I mean? Oh, you outstanding know? man! You know, and uh, I'm glad he was great. He was top man, he was a great guy. You know, yeah. And, uh, it was uh, that was one of the most memorable, memorable things as well. You know, you know, and uh, to to play that because bladder was ever present in all of mine. He's a coach, yeah. and he was always there. A great guy, top man. Uh, that was the second game. Because <coughs> you come out of uh, come out of youth, then you move, you move to get in to get into the field. It seemed was uh, was hard work as well. You know what I mean? Because there, there was a yeah. ta- really talented players. I know, but but he didn't mind because <coughs> all he made today play the seconds. It didn't matter. You know what I mean? And uh, there was um, <laughs> she was sometimes fixtures with the youth at that particular time as well weren't. Um, Went regular, so we right. did the game. We we go with the seconds anyway, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd um, the loads of boys played for Pendlebury then, but he wouldn't come to the club. We'd pick him up at the new inn on a way right. down. So they'd have about three pints in the pub before getting on the bus. <laughs> so he used to stop for the press on the way going to the game. Then we could... <laughs> it's hilarious. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> absolutely hilarious. I fed you was only all characters, you know. Gron's father, Gron, we old Gron, you know, and uh, Derek Brooks. It's, it's um, um, Brooksy's uncle, you know, and all all stars, Fedus and didn't give a toss, you know. And, yeah. uh, uh, good good fun as well, you know. And we played a few me and George, a few, a few times to travel 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 the second, you know. Yeah. And all, all fun as well, you know. So amazing, great uh, times, great uh, memories. Uh, uh, I'm trying to look what I got, you know. Right, got it. And um, yeah, um, the end of the youth rugby was, um, I suppose, disappointing, you know. But he moved on, the ball of boys moved on, you know. They had a season, then, you know, they got, went down a bit. But then after that, we never looked back. All, yeah, all flying. Sides, all the sides, the top teams. Yeah. You know? And we won, the, the, I, um, they won it the second time. Yeah, the youth cup in '63. That was the second time they won it. But after that, and through the '70s, I think in total, like uh, when we when we done the 50 years of a youth rugby, born of mine, yeah. I think born of mine had won the youth cup more times than any other side. Yeah. You know, I think we've won it 20 odd times, and I got you know. You know, you know uh, Joe doing doing these interviews and speaking to all these people about about all this, like, and the, the names of people are reeling off. Yeah. But through yeah. all through all these generations as well, like yeah. all the different people. Like, Incredible. I, 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 I remember, yeah, loads, uh, and the committees then were huge as well. Loads of people on the committee, you know what I mean? Yeah. And when he, when he became 18, the, the, it was two, two like, uh, it was a social club and a rugby club, you know? So we had to join the social club. But coming back and going back when we were underage, at six o'clock on, on a Saturday, they used to sling him out to the club because we weren't yeah. a member. Yeah, yeah. So we used to go down the halfway with Ray Davis was out with the land <laughs> on the We'd go up the ring with Ray Davis on the halfway, but we couldn't have it up the club, you know? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah man, absolutely, you know? And yeah. then, we, then we was 18, we had to join the two clubs. We had to pay for the, we had to be a member of the social club and a member of the rugby club, you know? Yeah. Because the social club there was huge as well, you know? The, the club was chocolate, absolutely rammed. Yeah, I've seen you know? photos, mate. I've seen photos. That's, you know, and that's... Uh, things change, you know. Everywhere it's changed everywhere, you know. They're not just uh, bottom line. Every, every yeah. event is in the same boat at the end of the day, you know. And and, and pubs as well, you know, Stuart. Yeah, uh, yeah. And you know, and uh, we we, uh, we we struggled a bit, you know. We played the seconds and mostly, and they played the first and sort of things like that, you know. And we well, well I'll go going back. I I've got to go back to um, the uh, the youth. When we played, uh, there was a couple of boys who, uh, I mentioned. But another guy I mentioned was a bloke called Viv Booker. Right, Viv Booker played on the flank uh, in uh, my name's captain, and from one of mine. And uh, he's a great player, really talented player. And um, you know, he was a dent. Became a dentist when the university became a dentist. And uh, he stayed for a season, then and he disappeared. Well, Stuart went to uh, Australia, emigrated to Australia. Uh, sorry, uh, Viv emigrated to Australia, and. Um, into Perth. Right. And the next time I seen Viv was he's been interviewed on television. He was coach of Western Australia playing the British Lions. Flipping heck. Wow. 
I can't believe that. But yeah. I, I think he was on it again when Western Australia were playing Wales at another date, you know. God. I and wonder whether you'd rather have been, though. Perth or Bonamine. Bonamine by any, you know, at the end of the day. And not many people know that. You oh, know? wow. That's yeah. Incredible. Yeah, good guy, you know. And, uh, and he was, um, I, I don't suppose, I, I don't suppose I spoke to him for probably 40 odd years, you know. And, yeah. Uh, he'd, he'd lose touch as well, you know. Yeah, yeah, other side of the world as well. So, yeah. so looking back on that tone, looking back at your career then, and looking at uh, all the games of youth and, and first and seconds and everything, um, who was like your toughest opponent or toughest team that you, you've come across? The tough, the toughest opponent. Oh, I don't know what toughest opponent because uh, all all teams are tough, aren't they? You know what I mean? The, the, the clubs, the clubs you would play were uh, a sugar and ice is always a tough game in that strip because. Yeah. They, they they were at you, you know what I mean? And everybody, you, you're, you're at each other's throats. And a Savera again was still a tough game now, a Savera. Yeah, it? yeah, you're right. Yeah, you know? good and uh, great old battles as well, you know. One uh, 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 boys have mentioned one ally, and uh, some good boys have one ally. They had good players as well, and you know. And uh, and Stuart Hart, I remember, Malcolm Arnold, Kim Norman, came after Norman Sartley, you know, and great, great front row players as well. And good some Terry Noonan. Good to tell you, God, no, tell you, good player as well, you know. Yeah, yeah, in the back row with Wang. Really good club, you know. Yeah. At uh, Golden, then, is another one. So that was like World War Three. Because what, no, look. Or Piatti said a short from Sartre. Great. It came off the Great. Pipe, a few pounds in it, you know. And uh, oh, good, good fun, you know. And uh, Kevin tell, said a story about Golden, didn't he? But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was, they, they, were, they were tough games. Now, Mumbles was a, always had a good side as well. Mumbles, good rugby side. And Swansea Athletic, played Swansea Athletic, you know, and uh, that was uh, a bit tasty as well, you know, and uh, you were uh, <laughs> a bit of rivalry in it. But I mean, yeah. a couple of boys in Swansea Athletic it was uh, Peter Thomas is properly Swansea Athletic. I mean, Peter couldn't look at one another when he was playing, but I mean, because uh, we'd end up rolling on the floor. But, uh, <laughs> and it's, it, we see now, we have a laugh, don't we, you know what I mean? That, that, that's right as well, you know, and, uh, and uh, they were good fixtures as well, you know, and, uh, yeah. you know, hard games as well, you know, and uh, I tell you, I played, it was played against us as well, many times, it was uh, Tim Jones, Alan Wins, Alan Wins' dad, you know? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ivan Peel was playing down there as well, down with Swansea, Swansea Athletic. I uh, even left Swan Athletic, come to Bottom Mine then, you know, and and Steve Powell as well, you know, uh, come up, you know, and uh, we were grateful for that as well because they both really good runners. Yeah, good players, yeah. You know, so it was a hard to pinpoint um, the toughest. Oh, we have many tussles, you know, you know what I mean, with the with teams, you know, Penland, good play Penland or Penland. I was a great battler as well, you know, second team rugby. Oh, great, oh. great fun as well, you know. Have a, yeah. a good scrap and have a few pints in it, you know. And, and <laughs> we, we played in that game. Nicky probably touched it as well. It was a brutal game as well, you know. Yeah. With, with, with some sly people playing as well. And just wanted to like, kick them out of your shoulders, didn't he? You know, yeah. you know. I played a game played a game against Penteric. Penteric is a uh, outside village outside Cardiff. And uh, it's up in Bordeaux Main. And I was in the centre then. I was, I was half caught in a rack. My legs is in. I lay a winger come along. And jumped to my face with both feet. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> God. Come on, that was Flipping hard. It. Yeah. But that was the worst decision he ever made in his life. It yeah. Last long after that. <laughs> yeah. not. God, not with me, all the boys. Yeah. Know, he was gone. And that's just a true story. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 uh, they spoke, they captain came out to me after the game and he said, uh, because uh, we give him a bit of bit of bit of a pace, you know. He went to off and he was on. And he said, oh, he said I was wrong doing that." And I said, "Well, ask him what he done." And he asked, and he, and he came back to me, uh, the captain came back to me and apologised. I think he didn't know oh. what, what started oh. it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That, 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 that was the game then as well. You know what I mean? It's uh, <laughs> God, we uh, hard up hard up games, you know. But <laughs> it wasn't, you know. It's uh, yeah. God, God. So, uh, do you know? Um, I was going. I always want to ask you this, right? So you you started off. Um, uh, sort of in centre, yeah, in the back. I was the centre, yeah. I was centre. I captain, captain, captain of youth. I played Swansea school boys in the centre. Yeah. I captained uh, Swansea district youth in the centre, you know. And uh, I was, I was, I was a bit leaner then. <laughs> but as, uh, as you get a bit, well, you start putting on a beef a bit, don't you, you know? And, uh, <laughs> so uh, in my last game in the backs for for the bowling for the first team was I was playing out at half to Howard Bryant. Wow, nice top pitch. And the following week, I was playing number eight for the seconds against Ben Alloy. So, <laughs> Going from there to there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, 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 I enjoyed that, didn't it? You know what I mean? And uh, you, still have, you still had a few skills, and you were playing uh, 
playing in the centre, you know, which a lot of forwards didn't have skill at yeah. in them at all, you know, but they're still uh, good handling skins and stuff like that, didn't you, you know, and uh, yeah, but I don't, whether it was a right decision, I don't know, but... Uh, I was going to ask you, what did you prefer, Tom? Well, if if it said well, what would I change? I'd probably say stick in the centre. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed, I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed playing in the forwards. You know what I mean? Because uh, great camaraderie in the forwards. You know, and he looked after one another as well, didn't he? You know, and, yeah, I mean, and uh, so, some really top boys, and still, still great mates today as well. You know what I mean? And, and it's, it's a long time ago as well. You know, and I get to speak now to get today today Jenkins. He dies in up in Glasgow. You know, and we watch that whatever it is and. You know, chat and because Dave is top player, and Brilliant. good, good, great fun, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that they were they were good games, you know, and we had, we had great fixtures as well, Stuart, you know. Then we did, um, because um, we used to play play a lot of rugby in Cardiff, right? I mean, it moved on a bit now from like early seventies, whatever, because we were in the seconds in the first, and then we had great fixtures and playing Ebbervale Athletic. Cardiff Athletic, wow, Neath wow. Athletic, Swansea Athletic, yeah, uh, Aberdeen Quins, which is Aberdeen Quins, like Aberdeen second team basically, you know, right, all top fixtures. Pentherton, uh, uh, Tax Well is a good club, you know, and these great rugby games, you know. And coming back to when when they when when we were going to go uh, try to the West Wales League came about, um, it came to a they, all they want to try, decide to start to have another section in West Wales because so many clubs not in it, so they start, wanted another sec, section E. So, but but if so many clubs wanted to join, it was it was over uh, over numbered sort of thing, you know. So they had to have a vote from the other clubs to so who they wanted in. Right. Some of the committee in Bournemouth I didn't want us to join the West Wales because we thought it wasn't. Up to the standard, what we were already playing. Wow, okay. You know, but we had no, there's no cups to win in, in the league we were in. We were in the Glamorgan Silver Ball. Yeah. When I, but when you were playing other teams like Cardiff Athletic and yeah, we, you had no chance of winning that. Yeah, end. yeah, so, yeah. And teams like Pyle were a great side as well and all that for Gen Sports, you know, and real, real hard games, you know. So anyway, they had a vote and they said, oh, we won't get in. Nobody likes voting of mine. And we had, a sec- we had the second highest vote to get into that league. Mum yeah. was at the highest vote. And we were second. So, so it's great, isn't it? And we got in there. Of course, they'd all have a moan, what have you. And uh, I thought, oh, I'm the best thing they ever done. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Then we, and the, the aim was, uh, before, <coughs> the scene before that, Derek Lansley was coach. And we, we used to smash the scrummage in the machine constantly, scrummage, scrummage, scrummage. Yeah. So the time we got to West Wales, we we could scrummage, and the next thing after the scrummage was smash the rucks, which yeah. we could do that as well, you know, because we used to jump over everybody. No, you're not done a scene dirty, but if they were our side, they would have <laughs> thing again, you know. And and of course, and well, uh, the body, it was uh, total intimidation as well. You know? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, just hate coming to the bottom line. Yeah, because they knew it was going to be a tough tough game. You know, I'd be talking to boys from other clubs after we were a bit over there, and I say. Oh my God! He said, "We get to the, get to the club." He said, "After the place, it's a drop out." He said, "Coming up the morning, you know, you know, I know, I know yeah. that's the way it was, you know." And uh, we 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 um, went into sec first game in, in West Wales against Mumbles. Malcolm Daisy played his, his then his, uh, his youth cap, played that game out and off. We beat Mumbles first game, and then after that game, Malcolm Malcolm went to Swansea. Wow. And we had some many, we had many battles in that league, you know. And we had uh, the, the most memorable game probably was uh, Carmarthen Athletic were a good side as well, and still a good side now, good club, you know. And uh, played up with the Boney, and um, we had, it was raining, snowing, hail. Gale, it was a sum, a summer's day, then, was it? <laughs> gale force wind, right? I thought Peter Blake was refing. Which oh is, God, he was great. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, us, yeah. uh, played against the elements and defended. <laughs> they scored a couple of tries, and we turned around and we we smashed them and said we scored a few tries straight away, you know, still. And uh, it was it was absolutely freezing. Some of the backs were shivering. I can't, one of our boys ran off. I can't remember who that was because he was like that. <laughs> and two of the two of the boys walked off. Like... <laughs> walked off. We won the game. We won. And that's where we won section. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I was, and of course the object was as well to 
shut up all the mourners that are in the clubs thinking we wouldn't do well. Yeah, you know, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, put them right, you know. And uh, oh, great, great feeling, absolutely great feeling. So you, you, know? you captain, you captain the club for several years as well, Tony. Is it, uh, I, years, first, years, yeah. I captain, I obviously captain the youth, captain the seconds, yeah. and I captain the, the, the first. What an achievement, man! You know, but, um, yeah, good, good. I, I, I played, with, I played with good boys as well, all, all good boys. But, but the aim was when I was captain, was uh, Clyde Waller was captain before me. Clyde's a good captain as well, and my brother was captain a couple of years before that as well. Yeah. And um, was to bring everyone together, you know, as. Uh, not just the first team, the second team, just to bring all of them together, you know? And yeah, 100%. First, second, and thirds, and see the boys, right? And we, we spoke to them on Saturday then as well, they don't get all up on Saturday, so we we'll see the boys. <laughs> this is right, out we go on Saturday, downtown, I go to see the first, second, and thirds of the playing away, this is where we go in, go see the youth boys, come in, yeah, all downtown, come with us, go somewhere, really, the boys, and they look at them, yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, you want to get in? We spoke to Hanbury, on oh, kicked the drinks, I know, yeah. And um, the landlord's a mate of mine, right? Roy Williams. But <laughs> anyone there, and it's a Ted Roy. All about all of you boys in the corner. Great <laughs> <laughs> fun. Oh, I was starting for them. Yeah. The Obviously, they couldn't get in, couldn't get in, in the club, or I was with the top rank, and I, you know. And uh, but get them all out together, you know. And uh, and a good time, great time as well, you know. And hey Tony, did you did you have a dodgy barnet then, dodgy haircut back in those days, or was it? Uh... Well, I used to, I, I, I always had a head of curls because that was my <laughs> thing. I always had curls, you know what I mean? I didn't have uh, uh, Kevin Brooks was always smart. He always had his hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lot left, now, have you? I swear. Oh, no, I it's like who's you know? laughing now with it? God, yeah. So. Yeah. Would you say that um, that commanding that commanding game was the mo- your most memorable ge- uh, memorable game in the bottom line top end, Don? Uh, most important game because we, the intention was actually was to uh, to win that league. Yeah, yeah. And won that league, and we went up then year after year. You know, the, yeah. uh, the following year uh, we went up, and the year after that, this year of that year, we we went down to the sign-in, right, and. Um, it was the last league match of the season for us, and we we had to score I think three or four tries, and score twenty odd points to be the top try scorers and point scorer in West Wales or all right. elite, not elite, yeah. which we were determined to do. And Malcolm Hedges was a captain of Gosainen, could play him up in scrum half, right? And we went in the dress from the top Tosha Tosha, and Peter Blake was ref again, right? Peter's Blake, right? Nice, nice, and nice. That, uh, these, these, uh, they need to win, Clem, you because know, uh, they, they, you know, to stay up. And, uh, yeah. and uh, well, I said, I, I don't mind, I'm sure he scored all the tries and <laughs> points. You know, but we'll it was not, gentlemen, yeah. nothing, it was nothing fixed, you know. We did, no. we did all that first half. We scored tries, what have you. Yeah. Well, we didn't, nobody throws a game of rugby, right? Yeah. But we lost the game, right? We lost the game. And the controversial penalty, which is about five yards wide, and our linesman flashed it wide. The linesman put it up. I beat the Blake. Oh. Give, give give the kick so they won the game. Oh. Oh, it, was, it was murders. It was murders at the club. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Peter Blake was banned. <laughs> <laughs> oh to God. But that was that's where it went. You know, like, it was nothing. You don't know, say, oh, how, you can't, how can you can't throw a game? Can you can't say the boys don't. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah. One of the things that happened, you know. And uh, it was uh, good fun, mate. Good laugh and. Uh, and being the club I was after, I was great. Talk about, about that forever, don't we? You know what I mean? And, yeah. Uh, and when we when we won section, or go back to section E, we uh, we had to go into the playoffs then. So we don't go sign in again. We played Vardre, when whatever the league they won, and Vardre were good sides as well. And uh, we got to, we beat Vardre down the sign in. They they were uh, they quite full on sides Vardre, weren't they? You know what I mean? But we beat they beat a well in the sign in. And then we went on to the next the semi final. Then was to play Sam Sisters. And we lost seven sisters, about nine, six, something like that, you know. And we could have the final of that as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, because well. the boys played up their skin as well. You, saw, you know, played really well, you know. Hi, so, uh, oh, God, I might be yeah, because it was, we, that was a good game, you know. I mean, I was, we've had, uh, talk about, um, we, I, I think, did anybody mention a game of Than Haran in the Cup? Sturgis was there, Sturgis. Played Than Haran in the Cup, in Than Haran. And, the week before, we I was supposed to go to the BBC Wales Studios in Cardiff because whoever won that game was playing Slashley. So I couldn't I couldn't go, I was working. 
But the captain of St. Aaron went to the door, and all he, all he talked about was when they were playing St. Essie. They meant no mention about him. So mm. uh, that was the best bet that we ever had, didn't we? That's your team talks order, then, uh, it? Yeah. So we went out to the field and we just beat them up. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> we did on the golf. In shock, they like. And the guy playing number eight, Trevor Wogan, right, was a really good man, a big man. And he was a difference. He just took everything that came. <laughs> just got on with it, didn't he? Yeah. And, uh, but Sonata, I remember one of mine. I can tell you that now. Yeah, after that, yeah. The captain. Uh, so that, that was, that was uh, a memorable game as well, you know. Um, what's it, what's it, um, Newbridge is another one. Nicky talked about Newbridge. Up there, we oh, yeah. Up, you know. And that was, the, we lost a game, 1889. But... We were in that. We ran a game all the way through, you know. But because uh, they started at the ledge, you know, top level, I've had the ledge, you know. That's when yeah. they slid uh, Charlie from behind and ran off, you know. That's right, yeah. Didn't realise that Clyde Ford, Clyde Ford was following him as well, you know. <laughs> mass brawl. Mass brawl in front of the stand. But that's the way it goes, you know. You know, that's and, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Tone, yeah. look, looking back in, in your career then, um, is there anything, you know, you, you'd look to change? Is there anything? I look to change. Uh, I, I, well, I don't know. I, 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 I finished really because I, 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 I had a neck injury. I injured my neck. I had to go to London and for operation. I sing a few screams in my neck now, you know, and a few oh, plates yeah. holding hold it on, you know. But I like to, I like to play it a bit longer, you know. Right, okay. Uh, I was 30, I was like 37, something like that. But I, I would have carried on playing, but uh, I couldn't. It's all, I'm a bit cut into that, but uh, you know, went into yeah. coaching and stuff like that, but it's not the same, you know what I mean? It's, uh, yeah. You know, it was it was one of things. But that, that that's all. I'd like to play it a bit longer, you know. And uh, and perhaps I, I talked to Daniel earlier on about the thing about um, as you as you get older, you can you can cope with the game, get through the game. But the hardest part, hardest part about tra- uh, playing was the training. Yeah. You know, you, you train, train, get dogged, don't you know? And then and get the game, get through the game easier. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know. It so, prepares you well, though, doesn't it? If you're training like that, it prepares you for the game. Yeah, you know, and you train hard, you know. And of course, there were there were times when there was uh, there was mass brawls in the training as well, you know. When <laughs> you murder us, I said, gosh, but so somebody do something next to scrub me down, and the best team we ever scrubbed against was the seconds. Because they, yeah. the next thing, that would get everybody, everybody fighting. <laughs> oh, great, man. Turn all off, cool down, a few things. Yeah. So, oh, great. So you, you went into coaching then, Clendon, uh, when you yeah, finished? Uh, yeah, I finished then. I went into help uh, John Reese. John was a good book as well. John was a good coach. You know? I, got, I like to mention the coach. The club, you're a coach now as well. So important in the club, right? Because you, you work hard, right? And sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's the most difficult job in the world as well, you know? Because whatever team you pick, it's not right. Somebody yeah. has, has a bone. Is that right? Somebody yeah, yeah. Bone, it's like, and you don't get any help. When you do it well, everybody's tapping on the back. And when you when you yeah. do it well, the knife come up, then you go. You know, <laughs> yeah. And that's true as well. And it's unchanged, you know what I mean? I hope it yeah. I, has as well, you know what I mean? But uh, it, that you know, it is, I I coached the job when we won uh, when we won uh, the West World Championship, you know, down down Australia, you know, it was John, you know, we we worked it out. out don't beat Tumble, and we beat Tumble as well, you know. So yeah, the, the boys, yeah, are, yeah. Uh, good scrumptious side, top top players, you know. yeah. You know, uh, I, that was that was that was a good highlight as well actually you know and, uh, I won playing but that was a great highlight you know. Um, I'd uh, I'd love to get um I'd love to get as many of those boys back together you know uh, the boys yeah, yeah. With the tumble yeah, yeah. game and get them up the club it's, and um, everyone have a chat about it. Yeah, it's um be amazing. Ivan is gone you know and uh, Griff are gone you know and yeah. all all great lovely boys great players as well you know and. Uh, and and quite recently as well, you know, people like uh, uh, Gabo and Bernie. And yeah, yeah. Derek Ace, Derek Ace, class player, Derek Ace, great, great player, you know, and he was, he was really ill as well, you know. And that's the way it goes, you know, time, yeah. you know, and uh, lovely memories as well, you know, with these guys, you know. Uh, God, I, uh, God, and Sam, um, I tried to think of, uh, who was Sam? Um, how many years has that been? Was uh, they, we, we we always had a thing of um, playing touring sides as well, you know, Sarah. Um, All right. We we played teams from um, uh, Argentina. Um, was that Pucara? Was it Pucara? Was that uh, the, yeah. 
Yeah, terms, we played them as well. No, no. Argentina, uh, France, come over, played a team from France, come over here, uh, Betts. <coughs> a couple of teams from Holland, Rotterdam, and uh, oh, what's that? I can't remember the other one. And uh, Romania, obviously, right? the two a couple of Romania sides come over here. And uh, great, you know, and we, yeah. what we, used to, we, we used to go well to all the internationals, you know, Scotland and Ireland, France, oh, went out forward every other year, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh. It was a good way to go, you know, in the season. Yeah. Whatever. You know, and I'll go, I'll great fun, you know. And uh, <laughs> I, I, would, I would do that again tomorrow. Going to go to <laughs> oh, mighty, been to France a few times, been to France for 10 times. Um, Where do I sign up? Yeah, oh, great, you know, good fun, you know. And yeah. uh, it's, um, yeah, it's, it goes so quickly to it as well, you know. It's uh, strange, isn't it? You know, I'm, I'm an old man now, isn't it? But uh, we're good fun, you know. and uh, I mean, many up and down, as you know, I, I play in, I, the Powell boys came to play to the Bowen, Steve and uh, Chris Powell. Uh, Steve Powell's a good player, I'll off. And uh, do you know where, where Steve, uh, Chris Powell started? Where? What position? No. He was in second row with me. Was he? Uh? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, he'll ask him. I gave him his nickname. I gave him his name, the nickname Jakey. Is it? I, I was, because uh, it was, uh, you tell him. And um, <laughs> was... Uh, <laughs> Go down in the scrum, I you know what I mean. I, I, especially as a youngster, propping his day tank, you know, and go in and uh, you'd have a chat and you'd tell you head and have a chat and then ask, <laughs> ask him how his mother was and uh, his sister going out and he'd be fired up from the beginning, money, you know. His sister going out tonight, you know, and you think, oh my God, here we go. And he'd make a beeline for me, yeah, money, you know, and uh, uh, and uh, to talk across the scrum to Jake, you know, and have a chat and it, you know. And, uh, but then we played against the side. Then um, I won't I won't name the side because it's um, it's um, a bit of disrespect. And I played against the, he was up at up the club and uh, oh no, so we don't we don't play a place on West Wales, and we played and the line out was a bit of a lottery right because you went up the line somebody's in the bed when they go up and he <laughs> goes in the line jumps in the line like that and it's chalk what was that wow chalk <laughs> so anyway. The other, the, all of the others disappeared, but he wasn't quick enough to get away, was he? <laughs> I got over him and I beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and get a, get a face like that, and his face was all right. Because <laughs> and, <he>, <laughs> and he had a few little set was in the game, right? Anyway, it's following season home now. We don't, we just props playing again against the city, playing tight end, now against tight end. Yeah? The talk, <laughs> talking to him, the other, and give me a bit of. Speak to me in Welsh because most of it was off at the end, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, and so it got, goes down, scrum collapse, face in the ground. I said, I had a chat with him. I said, It's no. I said, Daddy, <laughs> drop me a scrum. I said, You don't want to go that. And it came out again, told me you get off. And uh, so it went down again. So I gave him a, I gave him a pace in again. Him, and this happened for a few seasons on Cigar, you know? And play, play, as Brian George, Brian George, just to say, Well, it makes my end. <laughs> Who's at it again? See, so he started with slinging, slinging punches through, and uh, so I give him a few fetches again, and he was bleeding, everything running down there. And uh, anyway, I was, he goes off to, to but, but luckily, he wouldn't shake hands. Eh? So anyway, on the Monday, I was working down in West Wales, right? So we, we came on another route, me and my mate, Chris, in the van, in the van, and we drive in through the, this village, right? And it's, it's a zebra crossing, good. And who's sitting on the windowsill of one of the houses on the side now? Is this the prop, see? Shut with up. An, with an old chance, see? So I said to Chance, I watch this now. So I went down the window, now, come to the zebra crossing. I was blew the on, I went, oh, all right. He went, hold his hand like that, see? I said, how's he knows? He went, <laughs> I can't tell you what he said. <laughs> and it was off, it was off at the end of that as well. <laughs> I said, my mate said, you what's that? I said, well, I give him a clout on Saturday. He said, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> uh, but that's true. That's a true story. That's uh, outstanding. I don't mention his name or whatever. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass him or his family or his boy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's a few, you know, tasty ones. Mike, uh, Mike Lloyd with uh, uh, Pontadella. Mike Lloyd, he's good rugby player, Mike. You know. Me and he was sort of... Tate, I take as well, you know what I mean? And uh, that's the way it was, you know. And you get yeah. over it, me and Mike are great mates, you know. Yeah. And uh, you've you got it, it's all fun in it, you know. And 
you know, and we used to um, bring cokes and other tasty game as well. God, they were all tasty, you know what I mean? Yeah. Suddenly he was going to jump all over it, you know, and uh, a good laugh, you know, good, really good laugh. And uh, after the game, because you'd have, you'd have a few pints after the game with, 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 with the team as well, didn't you? you know what I mean? Yeah, it's great, man. And have a laugh, you know, they call him everything, and we for next season, don't you know? And, yeah, uh, we wait. You know, amazing. Ah, God, I. Tony, well, we're going we're gonna to move on now, right, mate? Um, okay. We're going to move on to your Bonamine 15, right? Right. Okay. Um, I know this for everyone who I've interviewed. I've struggled to do this. Um, but this is your teammate who you've enjoyed playing with for, uh, for over the years, pal. So, uh, um, yeah, well, you know, it's... Um, sorry. It's... Um, it's Well, I, I got a few different ones because people mentioned that. I played with a lot of people older as well. I mean, you know what I mean? Sort of yeah, things, or, yeah. Uh, and, and good players as well, you know. I, I, I you mentioned, like, obviously, front row is. Uh, I met two Oakers players as well. And nobody's mentioned them. One was John Daniel, and one was um, Bledin, Bledin Edmonds, who played. John Daniel was a group I came down from Mountain Ash, uh, John Daniel, but in uh, in uh, DVLA, you know. And uh, they're good boys as well, you know. And yeah. I, I, everybody's thought about that. Andrew Majors is a good player, Mark Llewellyn, Colin Clutterbuck is a great player, you know. Elmo Julius, some Delmo, Bernie Wakeman in it, you know. Great, and Mark Llewellyn, right? Mark Llewellyn played either side, which is hard, hard to do. Yeah, as well. yeah. So, yeah. And second rows, Neil yeah. Lucas, Slicker, Garbo. Ian Brown played with Ian Brown as well, you know. Yeah. And Ian Brown was coming along and he became a great player, Ian Brown. He was a, I was forgetting, Welsh B International as well, you know. And Malcolm Jones, Malcolm sounds sound as a pound, Malcolm. Top top player as a winger and as a forward as well, Mark. I mean, no? Yeah. And I think he's still got the try try scoring record in the club, and he had the he 38 tries for the seconds from number eight. I think he's doing a bit as well. Oh you know? mate, unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, uh Kenny Isaac is great when he, you know, uh, my brother Jeff, you know, played with Jeff lots of times, you know. Stuart Wedlick was um Stuart Wellick now lives in Brisbane in Australia. You know, Stuart, good friend of mine, Stuart, hell of a boy, top man, great friend of mine. And uh, and he hasn't been very well either, Stuart, and uh, he's oh, getting better yeah. at the moment, which is, a, which is a good thing as well. Excellent, you know. yeah, great um, stuff. Alan Powell, Colin New, do you want to mention Colin New, Clive Ace, my brother Wyndham, we played together, you know. Uh, Sammy Morris, John Griffiths, before, you go to before, yeah? Yeah, yeah, before, yeah. yeah. Before, yeah, before played in it. I could have been a Welsh at the National Sea if I hadn't gone wrong with Biffo. He dragged <laughs> me down that terrible road. <laughs> is it his fault, is it? Yeah. I'm, and oh, Biffo, I'm, oh, Biffo, I mean, well, like, he's, he's getting better as well, you know. So he's good. Good, you know? Another guy is, is not bad. It's Andrew James. Andrew played in the wing as well. Andrew was a good player from Corbin Avenue. And uh, <coughs> Neil Hicks. Nobody mentioned Neil Hicks as well. Neil played on the wing, right? And Neil, uh, Neil got killed out in Botswana, working in Botswana in Africa. In a, in, a, in a crack, in a Land Rover crack. And Neil was a good player as well, you know. And, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it went through sad times as well, as well yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, uh, what was that? Uh, Stuart Jenkins, Alec Bonzo, and, because uh, the other boys came along after then, who I didn't play with, them, like, um, Rob Price and Roy Price and Russell Price and these people, were, were, were after me, but they were all good players as well, you know. So, yeah. The, the team I well, obviously you know you, I, I, I'm excited excited for this I am talking well, you know the people I, I got some I got some they're all good players is yeah. uh, Di Jenkins is uh, is Lucet Di Jenkins okay yeah Charlie is okay was um, Charlie a tough tough player as well that one well yeah he fitted in together you know, with, you know he got uh, you know me and Brian Jones or Keith Owls were behind him and uh, you know, it's got big guys as well, you know. So yeah. there was, you know, it meets it meet sides. They were up front as well, you know, not just the case that he was going to be the governors all the time because they, the other teams are up front as well, aren't you? Know? Yeah, but yeah. Nicky, 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 Nicky is great, you know. I give pay was the other one I pick, you know. I give him as a, a good player, a good role. Is, well. is he tight, tight dead, is it? Uh, tight, I, tight dead. I and I think me sir just touched on it when... Uh, I you know, always used to change next to me in the old dressing rooms and he said, yeah, that's uh, right, yeah, yeah. And I said, can have a fag? And she said, I want to have a fag. And uh, I said, look, I'm just checking on the floor. But I come in, he bumped the hole. And then there, the fag would go through his toes. <laughs> Jump out of it. I said, oh, Dad. I blamed Diowers, no? I killed Diowers. 
Like Danny Wolf's name. He kept sitting next to him. He kept coming good, back. Uh, you're good, Dave. Good, good bloke as well. He's a star. And good with the boys as well, actually, because <laughs> he was uh, he's like a rep with the Brewers. You know, he's good. Yeah. At, was goal absolutely love a barrel every now and again, but every played, you know. Yeah. Um, second rows, one would be Brian Jones. Brian Jones. Brian, I played with Brian more than anyone else. Yeah. Uh, and the other one was um, Keith Owls. Keith, yeah, Keith. Many people. Keith, Keith played with Keith a long time because Keith's a big man as well, really big guy. Keith, you remember Keith? You remember Keith? Yeah, Keith, um, um, he coached with, with Kevin Brooks, you're above me. Yeah, he's right. the boys, he's Gareth. Gareth and Reese, isn't it? That's right, yeah. 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 Well, out of Wins team, is it? Uh, That's uh, right, yeah, that uh, is, yeah. yeah. Uh, Keith, uh, good boy, Keith, Great, good guy, you know. I've I gone for number eight, was George Poole. Georgie Poole, number eight. On the blind side is Malcolm Griffiths. Oh, wow. And on the open side is Reese Davis. Rhys Davis? Yeah, Arlene Davis's father. Okay. Rhys came to join us from um, from Lampeter. Lived down in yeah. Winchester there. Absolutely top guy. Silent assassin. Just really? Everything. Yeah, great bloke. Yeah. We played, we played in St. Island. Rhys on the, on the flank. And he didn't say a word, just tackled everything. And he had a bit of a tussle with the, the outer half. Right. And uh, the outer half threw a few digs, what have you. Of course, Rhys was injured. And the referee <laughs> sent him off. <laughs> he said, and he cried and said, off he's on his life. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, he's wanted to fight him on a touchline. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he tried to put a word out of him. wanted to finish him off. Great guy, great guy. Finish Chris. him off. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Uh, well, oh, what a pack that is, mate. Uh, what a pack. Yeah. That's outstanding. I, I, you know, and Scrum Half would be um, Howard Bryant. Yeah. Lots of boys play Scrum Half. Uh, I got to mention another Scrum Half is. Um, um, Hayden, uh, Hayden Matthews, who was a, played a lot of second team rugby, he was a great club man and a great player and a good guy as well, you know. And yeah. he's gone as well, actually. Hayden, Hayden and Owl were there, about as well. But Owl, Owl was a good player, it's come out. Yeah, we and, were these, uh, good player. And Alan Powell was, was around as well and came after, you know. And Owl, Owl went to well, Alloy for a few years off and on as well, you know. And then uh, out of half, I picked Steve Powell. Stevie Powell, yeah. Steve Powell was a great player. You know, holds a record with Neath for most most consecutive matches, and I think he didn't miss a game for about two and a half years. Played every really? game. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Absolutely, yeah. Played with them all. Any Jonathan Davis and I played with them all. Neck. And great player, it's great tackler. Nothing yeah. bad. Him. Sound as a pound. Absolutely good player. Oh, class. Uh, said as then I got Clyde Wallow. Clyde Wallow, yeah. And Clyde Ford, both dependable guys in the team. You know. Yeah. And uh, he was. Nothing with uh, Kopasa, both tackle, Fordy was great as well, tough boys, you know. And uh, on the wing then was Derek Haste, who was a great player, Derek. Great player. The other yeah. wing then was uh, Paul Miles, Ginger Miles. Everyone, he's, a lot of people picked him in his team. He was uh, uh, something else, is he? Yeah, a good player, Ginger. And fullback was Tony Wall. Uh, Tony Wall was my vice captain all the way through as well, you know. Because Tony was a good player as well. And I, it's not nothing to go, I, I, you know, I could have picked. Three sides, couldn't it? Yeah, hundred percent, mate. I think yeah. it's, uh, Sammy Morris went from one of mine to an ally that as a scrum half, and he came back full back. And Sam, he was a great player as well, you know. What I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, it's um, and uh, oh, I play as a play. I didn't. I played with Mark Sturgis a bit, and Neil, you know. And he, I, I didn't play with Tony, but the Sturgis was a good player as well, you know. In all fairness, you know, they give yeah. everything. As well. Neil was a good player, you know, and uh, give everything Neil as well, you know. And uh, I hope I contributed a little bit to these young boys as well, you know. Yeah, I bet you have, mate. Um, you, you speak to loads of people, pal, and um, myself yeah. including me. You've, when you're at the club and you're sitting down at the club, you just attract people towards you, mate. You, 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 you talk, we talk, we talk about this all the time, you know, me and Nicky and that, and we, and we have yeah. a laugh as well. Sometimes you tell lies as well, don't you know? And, uh, <laughs> so, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and yeah. you do that, you know. But uh, that's, that's all about it. I have a good bit of fun in it, you know. Exactly. And, uh, you know, I, I got to play, uh, mention two. I mentioned them in it already. It's uh, Stuart Wellick and Biff Foy. You know, both of them have not been very well, you know. And I yeah. wish they get in bed, uh, which is a great thing. You know? I haven't spoken to Stuart for a while. Great friend of mine and a Biff as well. And they get better now. And Hopefully, have, mate. yeah. Brilliant. They would come back over and have a few. And Stuart used to enjoy a drink as well. He's have a good drink. Yeah. Uh, come over and have, have a good drink as well. And you've got top yeah. man. You know, and. Uh, I, I probably forgot. You know what I was going to say, but uh, that's the way it goes, you know. Uh, God, 
Um, no, uh, I've been brilliant, mate. It's been outstanding. Yeah, I, I, love, I, 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 I don't know if I've been on. How long have you been on? Well, we've, we've um, oh, about an hour, mate. It's close uh, yeah, by, isn't it? It's close yeah, no, by. Yeah, you know, and uh, I'd probably, probably think I'll be twice as much to say as well, you know. I remember playing, yeah. playing in this Bukhara, yeah. tour inside, and um, they, were, they were up for, you know, the, the Argentinians, they were right up for it. Good scrum matures as well, you know, hard work in the scrum. Yeah. And I tackled a hook, I was a big guy. I absolutely flattened him, right? We got up, run across the field, and next thing he'd run behind me and stole one on me from behind. You know, oh, smack. no. I carried on running. I chased him all over the field. <laughs> <laughs> Good catch. You had a better side set than me. <laughs> Anyway, good to town. I thought, right, he'll kill it. So, uh, there was only a couple of scrums later. Now we had a big Eve on with the scrum, and they look uh, lost his lost his um, lost his grips or what have you. And yeah. then, like that, and he was on the floor right in front of me. So, oh, so he, his legs was wide open. So he said, "You better make a wish, son." <laughs> so, so, me and Keith, I was just walking all over. This redemption at the end of the day, you know. You know? They told we um we he played bands after the game, you know. It was yeah. all good. We we played Pukara. Um, oh mate, and it was one of the biggest punch ups I've ever been involved in. It was Richard Cunniff's fault, right? Richie uh, Richie Cunniff. When, when was that? Oh, this must have been. Oof, I'm gonna say eight eight years ago, maybe seven right. eight years ago. Up a club on a Wednesday night. Right. So you had uh, first and second so on on a top pitch on a yeah, second yeah. pitch, and. Uh, they were bullying us a little bit up yeah, with yeah. us, and uh, we were going, right, okay, let's get stuck into these. Richie Curry hit this boy off the ball. Oh, unbelievable. And then it all all kicked off. Yeah, yeah. Massive punch up, and he was, he was going on for ages. I looked over to the second team pitch, and that was kicking off as well. So there was like 60 boys going absolutely nuts up there. Oh, it was unbelievable. He was flipping, going yeah. into the stands and everything. He was. He was. Oh, class. Uh, they, they were tough boys as well, weren't they? You know, they, you know, you know, they, you know, they're uh, they could play a bit of rugby, can they? Is it, you know, yeah, they were good. Certainly, you know, the scrummage, you know, you yeah. know, and stuff, you know, and uh, uh, tough games, you know. God, right. Another one I did mention as well when we we went we went on um, tours and you know we went to we had the first year tour we went. I was in 1968. <coughs> we went to play in uh, in Portsmouth. Portsmouth playing the Navy Apprentices is Portsmouth, and we stayed on 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 the barracks. You know that was good fun, because the beer was about uh, ten pence a pint. You yeah. know that sort of thing. So that was good fun. And the senior <laughs> tour then first um, see was out in Romania, seventy five. That was egg. that was that was tough. That was tough. They were big guys as well. You know what I mean? And uh, you could, you couldn't underestimate because they were really. That was tough rugby. <laughs> <laughs> We, I think we won one, one two, or lost two, something like that. And then the next time was uh, Benidorm. Which oh, was, no end. Uh, that was that was a good trip. That, <laughs> that really, that was a really good trip. Good fun, absolutely great fun. Uh, dear, dear. And we played we played a game. It must have been on uh, the car park or one of the pubs. It just, uh, oh my God! Uh, it was just no grass on it at all. Stones on it. And that, 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 and you know, of course, all the boys be leathered, and you know, for a couple yeah, of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boiling hot. Oh, God. And uh, the next one, then, the tour then was um, Canada, you know, which you boys are going. Are you going to, you going to Canada? Yeah, Canada, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Next Canada. Week, that was a good trip as well, you know. And uh, and the rugby there is, is not easy either, as well, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's tough stuff, you know. So, you the tour, you've, you've, been on, you've been on several uh, trips now and tours. If you were going to pick your top tourist, someone who you, you're going to go away tomorrow with, right? Who would it be, mate? Who would uh, it be? I, Nigel Sheaves. Right, okay. Well, I'm not a Nigel Sheaves, right? No, I haven't, no. Nigel Sheaves joined board of mine, um, I think, of Penland. And he's an absolute... I first met him when we went to um, um, Benidorm. And he'd been a friend ever since. An absolute star. Great guy. <laughs> great company. And he were, when he was Nigel, you had a laugh. Big guy, yeah. oh top man, great tour. And of course, uh, Bernie Wakeman's another good tour. We, we would always, we always tour together and and room together as well. Whatever we were in Paris, what have you, and uh, yeah, yeah, and that sort of thing. You know, and he was he was a great tourist, and uh, yeah. all of them were good tourists. You know, we went to Paris <laughs> loads of times with with Nicky and and the boy yeah. and, that, and Kevin, and we had a great laugh. You know, and uh, and that's all it was about as well. You know, all fun. You know, and have a drink and and be good, be good mates. You know. Friends uh, but, for life, mate. Friends for yeah, life. Yeah, absolutely, you know. 
and, and it's great to see, you know, it comes from the youth, it seems it's happening. It's great to see all, it all coming back together as well in the club, you know, all, all the boys work for the same cause as well, because you, we went through a stage, you know, going back, going back a, a, a while as well, you know, where uh, the, the rugby committee forgot forgot themselves a bit, you know, and relying on the social for for, for the money and you know, what have you, you yeah. know. And, uh, and uh, they should have should have worked uh, going back you know, in the seventies as well, mate. Right? <clears throat> but the the, the, the social is pay rent to the rugby side for for the club, you know, because the rugby side realised and they didn't, they didn't have to do anything. They rely on the rent to pay for yeah, yeah. rugby, which the, they should have realised it it wasn't about that. They should make sure that to make sure that the social side keeps going and people drinking people drinking beer, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, that's sad of things, but uh, you know, I mean get over that. The club is going great at the moment. It's great to see people working hard, you know, and Yeah, you're right, man. You know, and, and these these boys, Scanners and Charlie and Yorkies involved and Stuart Stuart you were involved in it. <coughs> Stuart Turner, wherever else you've all a youngster. It's great boys. We've got to keep it going, you know. So important. Yeah. You know? And hundred percent man. And yeah, I'm fun on the way. Yeah, that's what it's all about, man. Yeah, yeah. I look, Tony. <laughs> I I really enjoy doing this, man. I could I could talk yeah. for hours and hours with you, mate. It's I, been I, I it's been super. Brooks, I remember Kevin Brooks playing and um, in the second row, and it can't remember him playing against, and a bit of a scrap, and he threw <laughs> a punch to this bloke. I thought you were throwing snowballs, because <laughs> 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 I'd take him one side after. And give him a teach him. Show him how to in the street right. Every day from it to moment in front of him. What's the difference? You know. And uh, oh dear, yeah. Did he uh, learn? Did he get better? Tony? Ah, great guy. You asked him. Uh, <laughs> dear, dear, yeah, good luck. I mean, you always had a laugh after. You know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, and uh, we oh, played in some duties as well, and but. Uh, I hope I hope people re- remember me with a, with a smile as well. Man, so. Honestly, mate, absolute legend of this club. Yeah. You've done everything: uh, coached, played, captained, um, a massive, massive college up the club, and continue to support myself um, and the senior team and, and everything, mate. You're uh, yeah. absolute another, top. Another, another thing was uh, was uh, um, give me pleasure. Well, it was Brent Howe coming along as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. He would involve the team above as well in you know, playing, and he was a great yeah. side as well, you know. And when you think we got Brent Tower going, and we ended up playing you boys in the final, yeah, that's right, unbelievable, isn't it? You know? Yeah, and that was uh, <coughs> that was superb. You know? I mean, some great players coming up there, and people like John Trigemo, who worked so hard in the club, and yeah, Icky Trick and that, you know, and yeah, they, yeah. they were so good for the youngsters, you know. Amazing. I mean, what's a disappointing part about this as well? We, we got we got. Um, we got we got two sides going, you know. We, we should have tried to keep that going as well, you know. But the problem is co- coming going back then. Some of the player people involved didn't have like, that the same enthusiasm, you know. No, that's you, right. Yeah. Meeting with the youngsters, which which you have got, which is great, you know. And uh, I should have kept it on going, you know. And because uh, at that time, our club was absolutely buzzing enough for players. Bouncing, bouncing. You know, and they think incredible. Well, the talent we had coming out of the club is immense, isn't it, you know. But, uh, there we are. That's uh, that's another story. We'll we'll get there one day. We will Absolutely. get there again. Absolutely. Tone, do you enjoy doing this, mate? Do you enjoy it? I I did. Yeah, I was, <coughs> I wrote all the same down, but I couldn't I mix it all up. I didn't come across. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good, good. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, bit of bit of um, um, technology problems in the beginning. Well, tell about technology. I was talking about this behind now. Technology. You years ago came in road, as uh, as you know, you and family <laughs> came in road. And uh, uh, my my mother's from Everville, and uh, my grandfather went very well. She had to she had to phone back to Everville at a certain times to see how he was. But there was only two people that had phones. It was Benny Thomas, who was Isaac Thomas's father, who was right. at the end of the road, and the other one on the phone was Mr. John, Sid John, which right. is it. Which is even great grandfather. And, uh, neck. And, uh, I said, they're the only two people on the road I had a phone. <laughs> so they, they go through all this technology, I didn't know where it's coming to go in. <laughs> <laughs> we got there in the end, don't we? We got there in the That's end. That's a true story, Antonio. Uh, yeah. Since that day, great day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. Great day. So, well, I loved it, mate. Honestly, yeah. uh, and uh, just want to thank you for. for uh, uh, no problem, no, not a problem. I, uh, I enjoy going to the club and I'm gonna laugh with the boys. You know, I spoke yeah. to um, Pritchard last week. He on a Sunday, wasn't it? 
That's uh, right. uh, he's a real hell of a boy, Fred. Oh, good right. player, Andrew, as well, you know. Yeah, lovely guy, top player. Yeah, absolutely, you know. And, uh, all, so the, all the boys, all the boys are great, aren't they? You know, never laughed. And it was just, <laughs> and it's nice to see him, uh, like, growing up a bit. I got a photo, I got a photo in, um, in my phone of boys, youth team on the young side, playing up in Tondi and um, Pasties in it, Willows in it, or the Brooks boys and what have you. Yeah. Cameron Clement, Stoney and all them. And they all, all little boys, you know. But all, they all became great rugby players as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Got and I, I got to make a comment as well. Um, when I, I played in the centre, I, I put on a bit of beef, so I had to, I had to move into the forwards. I would have pre- preferred to stay going to the back row, but I mean, it was a better players in the back row at the time. But then um, I... Um, he spoke to Pasty then last week. He's lost four stone, and he's going the opposite way. Tell me, he's going for outside half. So <laughs> he stands on outside half anyway. There's no change for him. He told me he's going for outside half. So he's he's going the opposite way from where I went, and he's uh, outside half of the thirds. He'll be. I tell you that, Tom. <laughs> no, I I'm telling him. I see him kicking them all. He's top man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well done. Well done. Yeah, awesome, got, mate. This uh, is. Uh, um, this is going to be, this, like I said, this is our last one for a while. So I just want to, right. I just want to thank everybody who's um who's who's liked well, these videos, subscribed these videos, and real positive yeah, comments from it. I, uh, I apologise to if I missed anyone out, but it's oh, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's that's how it goes, and I probably yeah, have yeah. have a phone, and I didn't mean to do that at all, you know. And, uh, oh, mate, don't but don't. That's uh, I I try to remember everyone I could, but uh, there we are. That's how it goes. Hey, Tone, so, thanks very much for everything, uh, mate. It's not and, a problem. Um, Thank you, Stuart. Great stuff. I'll see you, uh, see you up the club. See you up top tomorrow, mate. All right. Take it easy, bye. Take care. Ta-ra, Tone. Ta-ra, 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 Ta-ra. 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 Ta-ra.